Well, well, well. Looks like Arcade One Up was planning a new product without telling anyone about it. And damn, does this look good. This is the Miss Pac Man cocktail cabinet. It looks incredible at first blush. I'm, I'm seeing this for the first time as I'm doing this video. One of my viewers uh, put me onto this, so I'm just now looking at it. And it looks incredible. They've got the right color wood paneling that I like to see. Uh, the tabletop looks really good. There's no close-up of the table topper, but that, that looks fly. Let's see if it says what games we get. Super Pac-Man, Pac-Mania, Pac-Land, Galaga, Galaxian, Dig Dug. All right. Uh, and Dig Dug 2 included. And, of course, Miss Pac-Man. Nice. Very nice. Don't know if I'd play uh, Galaga or Galaxian on this. I'm a little purist for those two-way joystick games. But I already have a Galaga cabinet, so that's not a problem. It never hurts to have extra games available elsewhere to play. But... The real story is another Miss Pac-Man cabinet coming, uh, currently slated for October 15th, $500 price point. No indication that this has any kind of upgrade to the controls. So um, the Black Series cabinet, at least the Street Fighter Black Series, had a Sanwa stick. They do also have a Black Series cocktail cab for Pac-Man, which is also still available on BestBuy.com. And that doesn't have the upgrade either. So confusingly, the Black Series for some cabinets meant Sanwa and others it didn't. Um, I've said before, I don't really like the buttons and sticks they use when it's it's not Sanwa. Especially for 500 bucks. Cabinet looks beautiful. I'm really happy about it. I'm going to have to decide if I want to wait um, on this and, and wait for a price drop so I can justify subbing out the controls myself. Or maybe they'll do a Black Series version of it. But for the look of it, I, I definitely would like to have this in my game room. Now, I've told you guys before um, how to get these up to the right height. So the old school cocktail cabinets were generally 32 inches tall. Some people have said they were shorter than that. But they're wrong. They were 32 inches tall. And it's very easy to get there. You just go to Amazon and order some steel furniture legs. And... I'll see if I can find the ones I used uh, myself. The big thing is that they're seven inches, but I'll drop a link to the ones I've used before that have worked really well. So, all right, that's Miss Pac-Man Cocktail. Great looking cabinet, absolutely retro. Uh, let's see what else we got. So, Big Buck Hunter, $549.99, not a bad price. If this cabinet is at all the quality, it looks like it will be. We've got the very high fidelity Sindin a light gun system. We've got a great looking cabinet. We've got even the right speaker placement. Got that big speaker right in the middle, just like the old school big buck cabinets. Uh, awesome. The games line up very good for big buck hunter iterations. Uh, 550. I'm happy with that. I think a lot of people probably would have liked to have seen 500, but for what you're getting, I'm just glad it's not 600. I mean, these guys have to pay out send in. They have to pay out probably a lot for that buck license and then manufacturing this is I'm sure no joke. So this looks very good at 550 and coming uh, well release date not announced okay so we'll see if that gets updated. And what else do we have anything else? Yeah apologies that's anticlimactic i hadn't gone through this before the video well what do we what did i see that said coming soon pac-man countercade 150 that's weird i thought those were going to be a hundred dollars but that's kind of a pre-listing it might be wrong okay so yeah to recap the news here is a gorgeous ms pac-man um head-to-head -head, or i don't know why they don't call these things cocktail cabinets i also don't know why they're not the appropriate height actually let's look at the specs and see if they have changed the height i'm guessing they haven't but who knows they do change stuff sometimes uh, it doesn't say we'll have to wait probably until it gets closer to release but I, I would guess this is the normal so the old cabinets had a 25 inch height and this has been talked about as a product that you would use as a coffee table i don't know what kind of house Someone has that they want this as a coffee table. I, I kind of think that's weird. And then you're hunching over really low to play. 
It's also too tall for a coffee table. It's too low for a cocktail cabinet, but too tall for a coffee table, which is weird. I don't care that much because, again, you just throw some seven-inch uh, steel legs on the bottom for 30 bucks, and you fix the issue, and, and I can live with that. But the quality of the controls is frustrating, and, and I don't know. Maybe they will announce that these are Sanwa or something legit, but I won't get my hopes up for it. Um, it is still the 17-inch screen. Not terrible. Most of these games are going to be uh, single screen at a time. It's not going to be the split screen. I'm not familiar with all these Pac-Man iterations, so maybe some of those are split screen multiplayer. Don't know. But obviously the big ones, your Galagas, your Dig Dugs, your Ms. Pac-Man, that's just going to be the screen flip to allow for two players. And I can tell you as someone that owns one of their cocktail cabs, yeah, 19-inch would have been nice. And, and honestly, they probably should have done 19-inch for this kind of price. However, 17-inch is okay. I haven't felt the need to replace that monitor at all. It works fine. Um, it's, it's the controls that I'd probably take bigger issue with. So, yeah. Looks, looks cool. I, I'm going to have to think long and hard, but I think for me, I'd probably rather get the Buck Hunter. You know, it's also possible they'll send me one to review, but that's never happened before. So I'm not going to hold my breath. I don't think they like me reviewing their products. But I don't trash them. I just keep it honest. I do like their products. I have a basement full of 10 of them. So clearly I like them. But I'm going to keep it real with you guys too. If, if there's a product with an obvious shortcoming, I'm going to let you know. Something tells me this Buck Hunter cabinet is not going to have any shortcomings. Uh, the story behind this is that the, the licensor behind Buck Hunter, uh, Incredible Technologies or, or whatever it's they're called, they got involved with the design. If you remember the leaked image of Buck Hunter the cabinet arcade when not prototyped up looked like crap compared to this the company got involved it seems like um and that, that's what we're told but then this is the final result and awesome beautiful this is all their cabinets should look this good this looks super cool it's even got this marquee that sticks up uh, above a oh, raw thrills that's the company not incredible technologies the golden t silver strike guys um, raw thrills and play mechanics so makes sense it, i've said this before this is their first cabinet licensing a raw thrills game that's a big deal raw thrills if you just run the arcade 70s 80s 90s you wouldn't know them they are a modern arcade game company if you go to dave and busters you have seen raw thrills cabinet they make like the huge tomb raider uh, light gun cab they make a ton of modern games they are the probably the biggest I, I would imagine the biggest by revenue and by sales arcade company out there right now. Don't know that for sure, but that, that'd be my guess. This is a big time company. So to start getting them is cool. They, they make like the more modern Jurassic Park, light gun game, stuff like that. Um, I think they make the newest House of the Dead even. Could be wrong on that, but they, they're behind really a lot of the high profile modern arcade games. I like Buck Hunter. If you've not played it, uh, it has a ton of replayability. It's a very precision-oriented game. A lot of people turn their nose up at Golden Tee because they thought, ah, I'm a gamer, That that's for casuals. But I'll tell you what, you've got to be good at Golden Tee to get a good score, and you can always mess it up. And so that brings you back. You want to keep doing better. A lot of people I've heard from, and myself, I put myself in this group, picked up Golden Tee and ended up loving it because of the replayability. Well, Buck Hunter is the same kind of game. Now, you know, would I rather see House of the Dead or a more conventional arcade like a game? Yeah, for sure. But this is a cabinet you buy and you end up playing more than you probably expect. So that's just, that's my shill pitch for this, but I'm very excited for it. So again, to, to wrap it up, looking between these two tables, I probably would go Buck Hunter before Ms. Pac-Man. I would love to have Ms. Pac-Man and finally get rid of my super crappy Wave 1 Pac-Man. That would be awesome. If this came with Sanwa sticks and buttons, be a no-brainer. As it is for 500 bucks without that, I'm going to have to think twice. Buck Hunter, 550 I don't think I have to think twice on this one. We'll see. What do you guys think? Are you into Buck Hunter? Is, is that not for you? I'm sure for some of you it's not. Ms. Pac-Man, we know the stand-up table is coming. Uh, probably at the same time, it would be my guess, or maybe even sooner. But then we know this is currently slated October 15th. And Best Buy has been pretty good about release dates before, so I have no reason to doubt that. So are you into either one? Which one would you pick? This games list is dope. We know before it, they let it slip. A version of Ms. Pac-Man with Dig Dug. Well, this must have been what they were talking about. But 
for my vote, that cabinet looks really good. They are stepping up their designs. Look at that riser. It looks right. It matches whether Arcade One Up did that on their own or Play Mechanics got involved and, and forced their hand, whichever way. I'm all about it. Looks good. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, hit like. If you want to stay up to date on cutting edge news for arcade stuff and retro gaming, a little bit of an oxymoron, but there is a lot of news for retro gaming these days. Hit subscribe, keep tabs on new videos, and I'll talk to you guys later. Hold tight, dripping lights, paint the sky, I'll be